And this might be the most difficult Cold War challenge I've ever attempted, and it's not even close. And that's trying to get to round 100, emphasis on trying, only using the trial machine. And when I say only the trial machine, that means no opening doors, no using perk machines, no turning on power, no pack a punch, and only a little bit of the crafting table. I'll get into that in a second. And you might be wondering, how do you even get to a trial machine without opening any doors? Well, lucky for us, when the size were added into Cold War, people found out that you can do this nice little jump if you come over to here and sprint and jump with them. You can actually climb up onto here and up to the portal without buying a single door leading us directly to the trial machine there was a few jumps on firebase C before and it felt like players were fighting with the devs trying to find a way to just skip the first door in firebase C. and they did patch out a lot of the jumps to get up to here but by the time the size came out the devs were like whatever you guys beat us you, you can have this and originally i was planning on doing this as like a first room challenge with some extra steps but the more and more i attempted it the more difficult it was so basically like i mentioned before no door no buying perks, no pack a punch, no nothing. You can only get what you get out of the trial machine to progress forward in the rounds. The only exception to that is that you can buy grenades, you know, lethals and tacticals from the crafting bench, but nothing from the support tab. And like I said, I've attempted this a few times. I was trying to get a video out on this a while back, back when we were doing like the, the worst loadout round 100, but I could just never get far in this. I think my highest round doing this is 35. So things get serious in here real quick. But I really do like this concept of a challenge because using the trial machine without opening any doors, you can only get the location-based trials like get kills in the helipad like we have here, only here in the helipad and back at spawn. So it makes it so you don't have to run all around the map doing like various tasks and things like that to actually get rewards from these trials. And we'll get a lot more of the kill-based challenges like kill zombies from a higher elevation, which is a little more difficult with the size than you'd imagine. But it's been about like a month since I've attempted this challenge. I was doing it like every day trying to see if like maybe I'm just dumb and making like stupid mistakes and losing it but i think it's actually really tough but recently i've been playing a lot of souls type games i was playing dark souls 3 and lies of peace so i th i think now that i've been playing a lot more difficult games i can come at this with a, a different mindset and maybe get something done here and maybe i need to adjust the rules as well maybe i should allow myself to get stuff from the support tab on the crafting bench but for now i'll be attempting it without it and i even used this strat when we were recently doing the easter egg on firebase c on my third account for grinding camos and we got the ray k pretty fast i think we got it at around round like seven somewhere under under round 10 is when we got it and it was our, our first reward out of the trial station but in my experience with this challenge the ray k doesn't really last too long you guys will see what i mean when i get it and another little wrinkle to this challenge is the rng aspect of it if you've been using the trial machine or have used the trial machine you know there's only like a set number of items that you can get from it like a selected loot pool and you can get like perks and weapons weapons and even the map's wonder weapon but the map's wonder weapon will never come pack a punch so you only have it as the base version and i'm almost positive i don't know if just because i wasn't getting to a high high enough round or not but i'm pretty sure you can only get weapons up to pack a punch one which will not get you far if you're trying to go for a high round but you can get perks out of it but the most perks i've ever gotten from a trial machine in the same run is three and like i said it's completely random what perks you get so the type of run you have is all based on whatever cod wants to give you but we can manipulate this a little bit because with each reward tier like right now we're at epic because at the epic tier you can get different things than you can at legendary which might necessarily be not be as good as what you could get at legendary tier, but could be more useful depending on what you're doing. But let's try to get this up to legendary and see what our first reward is. There we go. We're up to legendary. I'm going to use my aether shroud so I don't get killed here. And what do we got first? The Ray K. Beautiful. Now this is going to do well for us at the start here, but later on, this is going to end up doing little to no damage. But for right now, this is a pretty good pull. And we got it right back up to legendary. What we got now? Oh, the baseball bat. Is it pack a punch? I think it is. So that'll help out with some melee attacks here. We have to say goodbye to our size, but that's fine with me. Those size were just to get us here. Now what I'm really looking for is either some sort of bullet weapon for when our Ray K stops doing damage 
and some perks. Getting something like death perception really early on here can help us get a lot of scrap so we can buy some nades and tacticals for later rounds. But I would not be mad with PhD either. That way I can just nade at my feet if there's ever a tough situation. A jug wouldn't be too bad. Quick revive would be nice. You know, I could go with any perk right now. I'll take any of them. Besides tombstone, please don't give me tombstone. Oh, and now we're starting to get our first elites. Right now, they're going to go down easy, but later on, those are going to be the only things standing on the field. You don't realize how tanky they are when you don't have any weapons to deal with them. All right, we're at legendary again. What do you got for me? Oh, are you kidding me? A Pellington? It's pack a bunch and everything, but I don't want that. Any other weapon would be fantastic. Oh no, we're already down. Well, that's a waste of a self-revive. Round 12, are you serious? That's what I'm talking about with these elites and how dangerous they are. That's a huge wake-up call. Now we need to play perfectly until we get one drop for us. But this time around, I'm gonna go ahead and claim my award or reward while it's on epic tier to see if we get something better here. Bars, actually. But a chopper gunner is not bad. I'll take a chopper gunner any day. Anytime we can get some of the support here for free, it's gonna be a huge help. All right, we got it up to epic again. Let's go ahead and redeem it. Oh, the Hauer? This might be controversial, but I'm gonna switch out our Ray K for it. And do I have any blueprints for this? How do I play this game all the time and not have a custom blueprint for the Hauer? And I put a blueprint on it and I lost the pack a punch. All right, well, back to using the Ray K, I guess. And doing a challenge like this really makes you realize how much UI is on the screen at all times in Cold War. I know there's that like uh, glitch you can do to play with zero HUD, but I just wish it was a setting. There's just so much happening on a screen at once. We're back up to Epic again. I'm gonna grab this. What do we got? A KSP? I'll bite. Oh, it wasn't even Pack-A-Punch to begin with. Okay, so it needs to be a legendary tier for us to get Pack-A-Punch weapons from it. So next time around, I'm going to leave our reward at legendary. Or not pick it up till it's at legendary. This also might be the longest way to get to round 100 if you do succeed. Because on rounds like these to be the most efficient, when I'm just trying to avoid taking damage, I'm not even shooting at the zombies. Because the next trial I get might be something like kill zombies with lethals and tacticals. And I'd rather do it while it's on a lower round. And these zombies are a lot easier to corral. Because if I can just run in a circle and avoid taking damage, I'm going to do that all day. Especially while there isn't like 800 zombies on here running 4240s. But this is one of the worst trials. You can go the entire time without taking damage and it'll only upgrade your reward by like one tier unless it wants to be nice here and give me a quick legendary nope sick oh that's so real that's the the shitty part about this is you know every support item that's gonna be on the ground it's just a mimic. No zombie is going to drop you a chopper gun or a war machine. None of that. It's always a scam. And these mimics are TJX6. Ooh, that's the fastest I've gotten it up to legendary. All right. Aether Shroud, what do we got? The Milano. If it's Pack-A-Punch, I'll hang on to it. Ooh, kill zombies with equipment. This is what I've been looking for. And while we got an epic, let's do it real quick. Oh, this is what I've been waiting for, the ammo mod. Ooh, would have been real nice to get a uh, shatter blast on this, but crowd freeze, you know, any little bit helps out. But that's one of the rewards that you hardly ever see get talked about because people always just get their shit all the way up to legendary and don't even bother with epic. But in my opinion, epic's got some of the better shit once you're already set up or as set up as you can be for this challenge. And I say that and accidentally get my reward up to legendary again. Might as well see what we got. And it's another Ray K. I'll leave it. And just to show you that you can't get it back a punch. There it is. Oh, but I shouldn't have dropped this because I lost my ammo mod. That's so lame. So word to the wise. If you're also attempting this challenge and you got an ammo mod from the trial machine, don't drop that weapon. All right, our wards up to epic. Give me shatter blast, please. Oh, dead wire. Not bad. Wish it was pre nerfed dead wire, but better than nothing. Okay. Oh no, we almost just died right there. But I was about to say, it's getting real hairy with these elites coming in now because we don't really have a weapon that can take them out. And I've been keeping this baseball bat around for when we get like the melee challenge, like get kills with melee weapons or whatever. But it's very, very risky to go for that now, especially when we have to rely on the zombies dropping us armor. All right, we got it up to legendary. Let's see what we got. You gotta be fucking kidding me, dude. No way. Uh, you know what? I'll hang on to it. Not really what I'm looking for, but it's probably gonna do a little more damage than the baseball bat at this point. At least it's semi-automatic. How much will it do to the mangler? Basically nothing. So worthless gun. 
All these guns are worthless right now. Wait a second. What happened to my dead wire? Me just switching weapons got rid of my dead wire? Are you kidding me? I was wondering why I wasn't going off. So those ammo mods on there are not even reliable. <laughs> this is so fucked up. Now we're reaching the point where the only thing worth using is nades. Ooh, and is that a cashmere? Eat that. Enjoy. Okay, we got it back to legendary. Give me a better gun. Oh, a self-revive actually? I wasn't even thinking about that. We'll take that for sure. Extend the run a little bit. Honestly, out of curiosity, what do we get out of rare? Essence? That's it? And maybe a little bit of scrap? Not the greatest, but now that we're on round 25, I'm going to start buying some Semtexes. And I might start hitting nukes too, especially if there's elites on the field. I need to get some damage going on these guys. No! Oh, that was almost so bad. I tried to get a, a quick little crouching nade kill there and that hellhound came in and took one for the team. All right, give me something decent, please. Ammo mod, it's napalm burst. And now we just uh, are stuck using this weapon. We just cannot switch out if we want to keep the napalm burst. Now we're at legendary. Let's try to get a different weapon or a perk. Stop giving me snipers. I'm done with it. I'm sick of it. Any other weapon will work for me. Oh, and I somehow lost napalm burst again. I don't even know where it went. I think anytime I touch the trial machine is when I lose my ammo mod. That's super unfortunate. All right, give me something good, please. Oh, a perk finally. Oh, it's death perception. Let's go. I was so scared that was going to be tombstone. I held my breath. Now let's not go down and lose it. This is honestly so clutch if we can keep this. We've definitely hit a wall. I cannot get these elites killed for anything. I've used basically all my ammo. I'm almost completely out and still haven't gotten one of these guys dead. Oh, yeah, I'm definitely not using this gun. The amount of movement speed you lose per shot is crazy. There's such a huge delay before you can even sprint again. That gun is a liability. And now that I've made it this far in the challenge, if I were to revise the rules, I would say I'd be allowed to use the support tab of the crafting table once I reach round 30. Because there comes a point where we're going to have so much blue scrap and zero green scrap, and we won't be able to spend it on anything. So I just bought a full stack of Semtexes there and I lost about a thousand green scrap. And as the rounds go on, you get less and less of that. So I need to start like rationing it. I think I need to just start buying either like normal grenades or maybe even tomahawks. But I'd be throwing those tomahawks nonstop. But another part of me doesn't want to allow myself to use any support streaks because then it just becomes like, you know, support streak only round 100 instead of, you know, getting stuff out of the trial machine. But I've been on round 29 for the last like 10 minutes. There we go, round 30. No! Ooh, that was so close. I'm gonna Aether Shroud here. Only 25 health. Holy shit. Seeing a Mimic grab you when you have no armor is almost certain death. I'm surprised we survived it. All right, let's take a look at these prices. Okay, so a normal nade and a Semtex are about the same amount. It's the Tomahawks that are extremely cheap. And they're reusable too. So technically, I'd only have to buy like five of them. And I could just constantly keep picking them up. But does a Tomahawk even like one shot kill a zombie on higher rounds? I'm pretty sure it does. The lethals and tacticals in this game are kind of busted. But is it worth it? For now, I'll hold out hope that I can kill zombies with anything else. All right, please give me something useful. Another perk? What is it? Oh, speed cola? Uh... You know, it could help a little bit. Reloading faster is never a bad thing. But I think that we also get our field upgrade a little bit faster, which is great. Probably not one of the more useful perks for this challenge, but it's better than not having it, I guess. Oh, shit. <sighs> Did not want to have to use the chopper gunner, but probably no better trial than now to use it. Is that the round? I think it is. All right, well, what do we get? A Galil? Better than that sniper we had, that's for sure. And now that we got it to Epic, let's use it. Let's see if we can get another support. Nope, an LC-10, but might be better than Milano. So I'll hang on to that. Ooh, and we're getting pinned right there. Might as well see what our reward is. Another Ray-K, and it's not going to be Pack-a-Punched. Lame. That would be sweet, though. A Pack-a-Punch 1 Ray-K would go insane right now. Oh, and this LC-10's not even Pack-a-Punched. What the hell did I get rid of the Milano for? Mistakes like that are going to get us fucked up. No! Oh, so glad we survived that. Holy shit. My life flashed before my eyes. No, no, fuck. I went down to the one mangler roaming this fucking helipad. Holy shit. That's awful. At least we didn't lose death perception. But this guy will not fucking go down. Way too much health. Die. That really sucks. 
Losing a self revive like that is terrible. What I really need is a combat bow to deal with all these elites. Just one quick little melee and they're done. Now it's just me and a mimic. Let's not repeat what happened with me and the mangler. At least the mimics are a little bit more squishy, but they're just so much more dangerous. A lot faster and can basically insta kill me. Why don't you do me a favor and fuck off? Oh my lanta, just die. I have to keep hopping on these boxes to slow them down enough for me to get some shots on them. It's ridiculous. All right, got anything good for me, trial machine? A new weapon, but I already have one. I actually know this is the, the actual Galil, the Grav. No! That's game, what? Oh, I tried to do the thing where I hop up and slow the Mimic down, but he just read me like a book and hopped on. What the fuck? All right, it's the next day. I listened to some butt rock. I took two shits and I think I'm ready to give this another attempt. Now that we got a little bit of a decent run under our belts, this one's gonna go a lot better. So I'll try to get at least near to where we were at, but I'll still show you guys what we get along the way while we're making back to where we were. And our first legendary reward is gonna be... Oh, death perception, beautiful. The exact perk I'm looking for. What is our next reward gonna be? A knife. Not really what I'm looking for. Kind of want a gun. Well, I guess it's better than our size, so I can't complain that much. Please give me a gun. It's another perk. Oh, and it's PhD. That's not bad. Uh, give me the M79 now and we'll, we'll be all right. Actually, even without the M79, I can just throw nades at my feet and we'll be good all day. As long as I got nades. All right, please give me a gun. Oh, thank God. I will be taking that for sure. Basically, if I could sum up this run so far is that I've had to use so much scrap just to kill zombies because getting close to them with that knife was about to get me killed. Even though this AUG kind of sucks, it's better than taking damage every time I go to get a kill. What we got now? Oh, uh, the Ray K. Don't really want it. So I am leaving it there. All right, I asked for a gun, but maybe give me a different one. Not that. I don't want the Ray K. Might be better than our knife though. Oh, oh, no, Nade, go. And there goes my PhD, damn it. I thought I had an Aether Shroud to get me out of that. Fuck me, dude. Damn, just wasted uh, such a clutch perk. And I could have saved myself by using that perk, but I didn't think fast enough. Damn, dude. Okay, maybe give me PhD back. A self revive, that works too. Better than the right K they've been giving me. No, in the same fucking spot. No to self, don't train anywhere near that helicopter. Now, PhD, the baseball bat. I'm not touching that either. We're getting real bad RNG on this. Really good RNG for our perks. Real bad RNG on our IQ. All right, we're kind of close to where we were at, but uh, I am struggling big time here. This AUG sucks copious amounts of cock. I can't get anything done with this. I want to start trying to just redeem my trials at Epic so I can get like some sort of like support streak. I think first, I need a weapon that can actually do decent damage. Even if it is only pack a punch one, plenty of other weapons would be doing perfectly fine right now. And this AUG is just eating ass. And on top of that, I keep getting trials like rebuild barricades or get kills in courtyard that I can't get done. Now, please, zombies, get the fuck out of my way, first of all. But give me a serviceable weapon. Oh, you're kidding me. Hammer and sickle. This is like the worst reward run I've had. We're on round 29 and I have no scrap because none of my guns can get kills. I just been spamming nades. Now, please give me something good. That's the opposite of good. I guess it's better than the Ray K, ironically though. Maybe I should switch it up. We've been getting terrible luck with legendary. Let's see what we get on epic. The fucking size. We started with those. This is fucked up. Please, something good. Uh, fuck you. There's no way. Ah, fuck it. What about now? Anything decent? E-tool? I mean, it's a good weapon, but I'm really not trying to use any melees right now. Oh, this is a bad idea picking this up, actually. I regret this. I want my AUG back, but it's gone. Okay, right now I have little to no scrap. Little no ammo and no lethals or tacticals. So I think I might have to take this epic reward and hopefully it's an ammo mod. Hopefully it's shatter blast and I will try not to switch my weapon so we don't lose it. It's a sentry gun. The most useless support streak in the game. But you know what? Let's put it to the test. Go to work. Oh, I think it's killing mimics. Look at it go. Fuck them up. <laughs> yeah, okay. All right, I'm sorry, sentry gun. You can get shit done. Too bad that you already broke. This is so painful, dude. This does nothing. Absolutely nothing. And the sniper? 
less than nothing. There's no point. And now we're just 1v1ing a mimic. Okay, we actually 1v2ing because there's a zombie. Can we get him with tomahawks? So we got him, but not him. He's still not dead. Eat a stun. Unload on him. Almost. There we go. Holy shit. I really need a good trial here. Okay, perfect. Beautiful. Just need to train some zombies up and get them all with one nade. Please get me all the way up to legendary right here. Oh, epic. Not bad. Let's just do it one more time. No! Fuck! That mimic sniped me. All right, well, that didn't even get us to legendary. Sick. Cool. Awesome. We lost our self-revive and our only perk that we have remaining. I'm debating whether or not I should try to get the legendary award because now I think I'll get a uh, self-revive or if I should just go for the epic and hope that I get a uh, combat bow or literally anything. Fuck it. We need something now. Help me out, game. Artillery strike? Okay. Let's uh, put it down right here and hope it doesn't get us. Let's get a few of them. And that's it. Uh, let's hit a nuke. Because why not? We found a cashmere on the ground. Let's not die to the remaining enemies. You know what? Into the cashmere you go. Enjoy your stay, dickheads. Round 35. If we can somehow make it up to 40, I'll be happy. But this right here should give us a good little lift towards our trial. Quick nade. I got a good amount of kills. Let's try another nade while there's a lot of zombies grouped up. We got it to epic. And I think we might just have to take it. But we're so close to legendary. I'm going to use my Aether Shroud here to buy some nades. Or a nade. That's all I can afford. And hopefully I have enough time to retrain these zombies so I can get as many kills with this one nade as possible. This should be good. Perfect. Let's Aether Shroud. Give me self revive. Tech 9. Not bad. Better than our Tundra, I guess. Watch this be the single shot. Oh, my Lanta. Why do they do me like this? Actually, what if I throw a blueprint on here? Do I have any custom ones? Nope. Well, I guess I'll see which one uh, might have full auto. Nope, still semi. What about the other one? Nope, also still semi. And I honestly have to take a nuke at this point. There's no way I'm making it through without it. This is always like the scariest part of the round is when it's just me and this mimic and this mangler. Because one false step and I'm dead. Like, I only get, like, three bullets in on this Mimic every time I turn around. Because he's just so fast. There we go. Got the Mangler, too. And neither of them dropped anything for me. If I can somehow make it to round 40, I'm adjusting the rules. And I'm I'm able to use the support streaks from the crafting table. I feel like I earn it at this point. I'm rationing my way through these rounds. You deserve that. My asshole has never been tighter. I'm doing Kegels trying to survive this shit. Oh, we got to legendary. Give me a self revive. A gallo. Now we're talking. Still don't feel like this is going to do really all that much. But fuck it, dude. Probably one of the better weapons we could have gotten. No, no. And that's the fucking game. I tried to get a Semtex real quick so I could use the Semtex to get the kills with the equipment. But I ended up dying. Oh, but this is our final stats for that game. This, this is fucking tough, dude. But this challenge has defeated me. It's obviously way too tough for somebody with as low as an IQ as me. I think I might try this again, though, when the Halloween event comes back. If it comes back, please bring it back. But thank you guys for watching. I truly appreciate all your love and support. And I'll see you in the next one. Later.